So, Dijak left, well, quit WWE. Um, we will get to why and my thoughts about Dijak leaving WWE. So, Dijak, aka Dominic Dijakovic, worked for WWE since late 2018. That was almost six years ago, and I found out who he was in 2019. He, y'all may know where I'm going with this. He had a couple matches with Keith Lee. In 2020, he's on the main roster with a new gimmick that I still don't get why they made him like a S.H.I.E.L.D. member, like the S.H.I.E.L.D., Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, ripoff, Retribution. But, here's the thing. He barely had any matches on Raw and the main event TV show. Then, y'all guessed it, uh, he moved back to NXT in 2023 or 2, I don't remember. And then, two months ago, he moved back to the Raw brand. And two days ago, he quit WWE. Um, what's my thoughts about Dijak leaving the company? Well, I'm surprised he left the company. But the reason is... Why did he quit WWE? Because WWE wouldn't work with him to have a match on the Raw brand. But they had... had. I'm sorry, I cannot... I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. I didn't get much sleep last night. They had him working on main event. Those type of wrestlers who are not even working on the Raw brand, but still on the Raw brand. But anyway, guys, what do you guys think where he should go? New Japan Pro Wrestling, TNA, or AEW? Let me know down in the comments below, and tell me your thoughts about his um, departure from WWE. Anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe.